Million Dollar Duck is probably one of the most bizarre Disney films I've seen. And yet, I feel like it should be what every Disney live action is like. It's fun, it's a bit silly, it's clean fun. And to be honest, it's not the most well-loved Disney film, but it seems to have done pretty well for itself. This was released in 1971, and it is directed by Vincent Mc... McEvity, I am probably not pronouncing that correctly, um, and written by Roswell Rogers and Ted Key, and stars, along others, Dean Jones, Sandy Duncan, and Joe Flynn. And it is the narrative that makes this really bizarre. And according to IMDb, this is, Professor Dooley takes home a duck from his research lab as a pet for his son, but soon finds out that it lays golden eggs. And it is the, well, it's not the goose that laid the golden egg, but it's a duck. And it starts to lay these eggs and suddenly there are people after this duck and they want to keep this duck and this duck could make them a fortune. And it's just an adventure with this duck and this duck could bring them a lot of money. But suddenly when they're having all of this money, people begin to wonder why and the future of the duck could come under threat. Now, I don't know how long ducks live for, but I can't imagine it's massively long. Okay, so I googled it and apparently a mallard can live for five to ten years. I'm not sure what breed of duck this is. But eventually the money would run out. But the safety of this duck comes under threat and it's... There will be some people who will be, you know, screaming animal cruelty and even though it's fiction they shouldn't be keeping the duck like this. And I, I agree, of course I do. But this is no ordinary duck. And it's just about this family and their relationship with this duck and the fact that the protagonist is basically a duck who lays golden eggs, it makes it great fun. I'd say it's not the most predictable thing in the world. It's, um, it, it, it'll keep you on your feet, or certainly it'll not be predictable towards the end. It takes quite a refreshing turn and is good fun, and it's just a silly, fun film that you shouldn't take seriously. You definitely should not take this seriously, and I think maybe some people are looking for a serious, meaningful, poignant film from Disney. But it's just fun and quite ludicrous. It actually was nominated for two Golden Globes. It was nominated for the Best Actor in a Motion Picture to, for Dean Jones and the Most Promising Newcomer for Sandy Duncan. It didn't win any of those. I don't think it has any awards. But that doesn't matter. It's not a groundbreaking film. It's not going to change or obviously hasn't changed the history of cinema. But it's fun. It's silly. It's a good way to release your inner child. If you're looking for a film that's Family friendly, easy to watch, one that requires no real concentration and one that will make you think, on the one hand, what on earth were Disney thinking in the 70s and also why can't we have films like this nowadays? It's ludicrous, it's lovely, I thoroughly recommend it.